Free agents NFL teams should be eyeing. This is from the Bleacher Report, and this is a defensive tackle. Puna Ford, defensive lineman for the Seahawks. Versatile, productive interior defender. Ford, three consecutive strong campaigns, averaging uh, 42.6 tackles, 2.5 uh, sacks, 6.7 tackles for loss, 12 quarterback pressures. Projected market value, $9.2 million annually. He's only 27 years old. What do you think about Ford? And, and that's a guy, Browns fans watch the Seahawks game because he'll be playing in it. Yeah, I, I actually like Ford a lot. There's a, there's a number of guys uh, in this class. This class is actually deep for defensive tackle and kind of loaded. And it, it's weird. So in kind of researching uh, a defensive tackle article I did, I stumbled upon kind of that basically this market has the potential to kind of explode as far as money goes, kind of similar to wide receiver this offseason. Strangely enough, because you're going to get uh, Dave, Chris Jones, Jeffrey Simmons, Quinnen Williams, and Ed Oliver oh. all on extension years. So that business is getting done this offseason. That's going to take the market up. Then you've got this super class of free agents coming in. That's going to bring the market up. So guys like Deron Payne and, uh, you know, the, the top guys in this list this year are going to get paid a, like $20 million probably a year APY. So um, I think the guys that some of the guys that Lance was just talking about, you know, definitely are intriguing. Another name I would throw out there that I liked a lot uh, that we saw play against the Browns was David Anyamata of the Saints. Uh, he mentioned Sheldon Rankins and then Draymond Jones of the Broncos. I like a lot too. Uh, so all of those guys I think can be had from somewhere maybe hopefully if they can keep the market down enough somewhere in that five to $10 million range. And I think you need like two of those guys probably. Yeah, I would agree. Draymond Jones, the local kid, went to St. Ignatius High School. Yep. So the thing that I would say is watch for Andrew Barry to go to some of those lower level guys early and kind of beat the market like he did with Amari Cooper. That's something to keep an eye on um, as we move forward. 